Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play People's General. This is the People's General 3.0 mod, to be exact. A modded campaign um, yeah, that I'm playing right now and last mission. I think 79th episode of this LP here yeah, has been some time. Um, has been a long time since I began this LP. Now this is 80th episode uh, in Kazakhstan. Going for the capital of Kazakhstan called Almaty, Almaty. Now Kazakhstan shares a, a long border with China in the northwestern region. I guess it is kind of connecting to the rather um, kind of remote regions of northwestern China. There's been some problems in the recent years, but I mean the recent months there has been uh, nothing in terms of unrest. But who knows what's going on there? Anywho, I'm digressing once again, sorry. Yeah, I think taking over this area not only gives the uh, in-game context, I guess, more of a focused, I don't know, like what you can call it, more of a, I guess it makes China rather worried about the borders with Kazakhstan instead of just Russia. Maybe it was a bit of a buffer zone that they've set up here in Kazakhstan, but now if it's gone, then they have to worry about a more concerted force attacking their territories. I mean, this campaign, I think, as in the past campaigns that I played, really doesn't cover um, the invasion of China, for example. It just wants to get China out of the occupied territories, and that's that. Uh, even the North Koreans, the game assumes that North Koreans will sue for peace at the first moment that Seoul is taken over. And I don't know whether that's going to be accurate in terms of how it's going to play out in reality. Of course, I don't want the war to happen in the first place, but yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe that's going to be the best course of action for um, well, the parties involved. Well, anyways, yeah, let's talk about the game now. Uh, I am right now uh, sitting on 1114 prestige points. And well, that's a pretty good amount, I think because I do believe that we have a pretty balanced force right now. They're able to um, do pretty well, I think, in the subsequent missions, because I have a lot of uh, units that have uh, carried along and they have gained a lot of experience. Some of the very powerful weapons that I have in terms of the tanks, definitely drawing a bit of a gap between this and now the Chinese tank that they the PLA can command. They do have occasional type of fives and sevens that go toe to toe with these guys. I mean, I need to basically mob it with multiple tanks and the artillery strikes, or the strikes from low set and the stealth tank with three range cannons, you know, to bring them down. But overall, I think the Powells definitely have done a great job and now becoming our, you know, the main backbone of our offensive thrust. Um, yeah, coming into the artillery section, we do we did keep the artillery safe from the very first mission of this campaign. Now they have gained a lot of experience, maybe for a uh, overstrength or two. Recon, I can see that we have some of these guys definitely endured a lot of different situations in the last mission, almost to the brink of being destroyed. But whether it be from good luck or being in the right place at the wrong time but right place and he was able to survive many occasions of peril Tracker scout yeah leader has a motivator a tactic or a tribute story for a leader and i don't know whether i'm going to upgrade this because i mean this guy has a pretty good amount of mobility although it's wield multi-wield so i don't know what it's going to really mean uh, for this map this mission Although it's all-terrain vehicle, I don't know, maybe um, kind of uh, compromised by the mountain ranges and stuff like that. I don't know whether the tracked vehicles are better in the mountain ranges or streams or what have you. But I want to keep it since it has a pretty good descent, a pretty good and decent amount of armor and uh, attack ratings, especially in the close quarters, close environment. Yeah, so I think I may add one more Humvee to this recon squadron or regiment. And linebackers, the air defenses, air support, I think 
if we have a lot of them now, so I don't think I won't add any more. Maybe add a couple of attachments if needs be. And this guy has been very important. I don't know, this just seems like... I don't know, straight out of science fiction or something, because you can shoot helicopters at 12 hexes out, any other unit at 12 hexes out, so it's a multi-role vehicle that can serve as a also supply vehicle and HQ that is able to deploy units. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool, cool unit to have. I wonder if it gets destroyed, the game basically ends. I don't think so. Knight, yeah, wow, the inventory has done really well in the last couple of missions. That's definitely true. And I'm going to look into upgrading this striker inventory to Knight if it's possible. Unfortunately, it's over strength, so maybe I can under strength it or something before upgrading. I don't think that really matters. Uh, there's probably calculations of whether the overstrength units do require a bit more prestige to upgrade to a better unit. But I think the difference uh, between just upgrading it and like understrength first and upgrading and then overstrength to its original strength, I don't think there's any difference, if little, very little to be a concern. And uh, yeah, the helicopters have gained a whole lot of prestige, not prestige, sorry, uh, experience. I'm maybe trying to think about upgrading this to a uh, command because I don't know, this seems to be a um, really good opportunity for us to do that. Because to bring a whole new unit is going to cost like half of this, so may as well just go for improving the units that we already have, you know, and upgrading it. Alright, so let's check the air superiority, which is 70%. Alright, so a bit lower than the usual. 80% to 90% was the norm. In the context of this mission, I kind of do think that maybe the air superiority might be lower because it's closer to China, that's for sure. And I believe this is a mountainous range, which is far cry, well, it's pretty far removed from the, the naval forces that can exert some kind of influence, especially in Southeast Asia, where the mission briefings explicitly stated that you know, Southeast China Sea is basically dominated by the United States Navy, leading to high air superiority coming from naval forces uh, supplying the Raptors and uh, all these air support. So, I mean, far removed. Uh, now we, we are rather close to Russia, so I guess we gotta use Russian airspace or something. So it's a bit lower than before, but I think I can manage. If I to increase it to 80%, yeah, then it's going to be... Well, I mean, maybe I should bring a couple of Patriots or something, just in case. But I'm not really too worried about right now, about air support. And uh, yeah, okay, so this is the Commander McKay, General McKay's record so far. A pretty good mix of uh, victory. Uh, yeah, coming from Ho Chi Minh City, I was just able to eke out the victory here, tactical victory. And then improve that a bit in Hanoi with um, victory, a rather measured kind of play that really didn't risk anything. And for that, I didn't lose any troops. Alright, let's check out the map first. Oh my gosh, the Russians are here. Oh my goodness, a side for sore eyes. Really. Uh, they're coming predictably from the north. And we are coming predictably from the south. And we do can re deploy um, one unit here. Interesting. Yeah, so the Russians will be able to help us. Uh, I don't know how much of an experience they have. They have a pretty good experience. All green troops, so it will be rather difficult for them to survive first battle or two because their replacements will decrease the effectiveness uh, rather a lot with each uh, green unit. And uh, it seems like this is Almaty, yeah, the big city and a lot of mountain ranges, but fortunately there's nothing here in terms of objectives. Nobody hiding the caves or something like that. Airfield, okay, so this is rather small map. I don't know, I think I saw 8 turns for brilliant victory, so I think there will be a lot of different uh, units here congregated or reinforcement. Reinforcement definitely a factor, let's check it out. Yeah. So the Russians can come from north and maybe try to capture here while the United States will converge on this side. Maybe these guys can go here. Uh, and then try to prepare our forces that are coming from Almaty. And combine the forces 
maybe with the Russians too and then uh, go the rest of the way. Okay, uh, let's see. There's some river here. Yeah, definitely a river. But after that, there's basically no body of water. Hmm, interesting. These guys do have amphibious ability. And... Okay, now there will be no problems for these guys to cross the river. Um, for these troops, I think you can use this bridge. Or the engineer that can actually uh, go one hex and then be able to provide us with instant bridge. So for this mission, I don't think I'll be needing a lot of river assault. I think we'll be needing instead... Uh, okay, so it's all clear it seems. Wow, there'll be a lot of tank battles. Yeah, there's some hills. There's some hills, there's some forest. Okay, so there's some hills here. Yeah, it's all hills, so it might be a pretty defensive position. Oh, yeah, a lot of hills. It's a pretty standard fare in terms of the mix of rough terrain and then clear terrain. There's a huge clear space, so uh, maybe... Maybe there are some tank forces that we need to watch out for. I wonder if the Chinese had front-loaded their defenses once again, or just like in the last mission, have distributed their tank forces, which played to our strengths, while we were able to just divide and conquer, that was what happened in the last mission. Alright, so I have a big idea of what I want to do. I want to... Um, well, first of all, I want to take out all the river salt from this tank. And replace it with either air support Air defense or anti tank? Well, I can have two anti tanks, so maybe be able to supply it with something else, like you know, quick entrenchment or even leave it blank to provide more of a strength. Maybe I should do that. Uh, wow, okay, so yeah, I wonder if I can bring a Russian unit hmm. because the Russians are available. If I can, maybe uh, it's too late for me because this game has a bug where if, if you do not... Actually, you can! Yeah, 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 you can bring the Russian unit. Okay, so... Alright, so I have to bring this guy then, right? The engineers that I lost. A very important unit to be sure. Cost 300 for some reason. Plus cost 20. Oh, okay, here you go. Yeah, so engineers definitely will be very important part. And then I guess I need to use this opportunity to stock up on what I can of the Russian unit. Let's see if I have other uh, units that I can bring in. Some of these helicopters, okay. I don't think they have a new unit to their arsenal, which is unfortunate. But we do have Tunguska that I can bring in if I want to. Definitely we prefer uh, cheaper Russian air support. Now, okay, so we do have some anti-aircraft air support. But I think this will be better. So bring in one more Patriot, just in case. And let's see. Yeah, get all this river support out. And maybe uh, try some other... Well, this could be pretty useful. Yeah, this is, uh, what is it called? Combat Engineer, which increases this close combat. And it entrenches also quickly, I think. Gives it a bit more engineer type of trait. Right, so this increases air attacks to 18. Wow, that's amazing. It's a pretty good air attack in the first place. I don't know whether it should be doing this because I think maybe the Chinese can bring in one more airstrike or wild weasel. But I think the wild weasel is where they are going for and bringing the helicopters because. Last mission they brought like 5 helicopters and I think that is going to be maintained in terms of their strength because I've never seen helicopter forces decrease in size in any missions as I progressed through a campaign so I'm expecting a lot of helicopters. Uh, that could be 
you know, the deciding factor in bringing an air support or not, but this tank already has 4, which is really paltry. It has a great defense against air trapped, I guess, but I don't know, maybe it is actually a you know combined defenses against both helicopters and aircraft. Uh, and this is only for attacking helicopters in return. I think this has a pretty decent amount of uh, air defense to begin with, so I don't really think that it's really needed to add like two more uh, to the existing 16. So I'm gonna think about any other units, any other... Um, well, yeah, I guess it's good enough. So let's just take it out. Oh no, actually I have to do it in the upgrade screen, sorry. Alright, let's go there and let's get it over with. Yeah, gaining some amount of... Maybe I should leave at least one river assault tank. One or two. Yeah. And yeah, I guess these two I take out. And maybe over strength them. Any other? Maybe I can give this guy a bit more boost. Um, yeah. Okay, so going to the air support. All right. And upgrade this to night, perhaps? Wow, okay, so it costs a lot. 265. What is this original price? Okay, 230 to 400, so 170, but to upgrade this to... I guess because this is over strength, that's why. Uh, tonight, it costs 265, which is almost the price of a ranger, bringing an actual ranger. Interesting. I mean, this is a really good unit. Very good unit and hard target too. I have three night units, right? It'd be nice to have another one. Yeah, definitely. So I think about it. Now, this guy. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And how about this? Uh, command. 80. Yeah, sure. I'll create to command. Okay, so we have a stealth helicopter. For the first time in this campaign. Very nice. And uh, okay, yes, yeah, so this is uh, another unit that I'm kind of thinking about upgrading to Powell because last mission has shown that there's a stark difference between what this guy is able to do and then the Powell. And having this kind of experience, I think this is the time for it to upgrade to Powell finally. It can actually go a bit farther than Powell's, but it has leaders, so it kind of compensates by being able to move one more hex due to aggressive uh, maneuver yeah aggressive maneuver and has recon movement so yeah definitely we have to go for Powell and in terms of um, uh, well I guess well I guess I just upgraded to Powell and I think there'll be that the rest of it goes to overstrength now let's overstrength this guy oh 500 even cool now maybe we're going to end up with zero prestige after we are done through this uh, yeah, so low set. Does low set need a uh, attachment? Which is more um, stronger? Which is more in terms of prestige cost? Overstrength or attachment? Well, overstrength takes it down to 422, which is 78. And I think attachment costs 80 prestige, so I overstrength this. I don't know how much effective it's going to be, but. I think it'll be okay. And wow, look at that. I cannot even. Oh, because it's a prototype unit. I thought it's gonna cost more than 400 to upgrade this uh, this guy's strength, but no. Uh, let's open the strength couple of these guys. Effective guys. Striker Scout. Well, maybe it deserves a. Uh, deserves a uh, strength, but let's come back to that after we've done through. Uh, we've upgraded the knight unit. 
maybe I should upgrade this tonight. Yeah, maybe I should upgrade this tonight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can over strength some other unit. I think infantry. Yeah, this guy. Um, well, not really. Yeah, I guess I can upgrade this guy, but I don't know why I would do that. Maybe air defense, perhaps? Can I upgrade any of these artillery units? No, I can upgrade the scout. Hmm, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Oh, can do one more. Cool, alright, so a lot of um, value in that. Um, maybe I should upgrade the HQ because how effective it is now taking the helicopters. Oh, I cannot do that. Okay. Uh, Tunguska, can I do that? Yeah, okay. Alright, so 18 uh, prestige point left. Sure. Save and let's go into Almaty, Kazakhstan. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have Russians along with us. Interesting. And let's get out this screen. Right, so a lot of tanks will head toward. Well, hills. Hmm. I think some knight unit will be able to do well here. So let's deploy as such. Yeah, two knight units. Um, I think three tanks. And this guy also. HQ, of course. HQ, hmm. HQ is more effective when following the road, so... He probably will be able to travel around here and then maybe have to deploy around it. Or I think it would be better if the HQ is able to come around here and then deploy here. Because I don't want to deploy a lot of units here where I think they will be target of the artillery station here in other units in counter attack. So I place the HQ here. And then I think I have to bring the... Um, I mean the artilleries have a pretty good range so I think artilleries will be fine around here. But for this unit I will have to bring in... Uh, Let's yes, get. Wow, it looks pretty cool. I didn't bring this unit because, of course, there's some prestige concern, but also there was some bug I experienced where this unit kind of disappears. Just, I mean, this is a stealth helicopter, but it also disappears out of the battlefield for some reason. So I'm kind of afraid of the graphical bug that might just, you know, knowing me that I just skip over and forget about it ever existing. I didn't bring them in for the convenience sake and I don't think there's a lot of difference between the Comanche and the uh, Longbow. They're heavily experienced now so there's really no need to... I mean there's not much of a difference I believe but it's just cool to bring in a stealth helicopter and see how effective it is. Alright, a linebacker, yes. Linebacker here, Patriot here. Another Patriot um, here, and Scout, of course, Scout, Scout. Yeah, a lot of tanks have not been deployed yet. Should I give a unit here? Um, maybe I should. Is there a recon here? Yeah. I don't want to be too separate from my the rest of forces. So, I give a uh, Tunguska, I give a Tunguska just for the sake of air defense. And a long range, uh, I guess a tank, yeah. Okay. 
All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, we have a BRDM, I believe. Yeah. There is the Estrella. Sure. Ah, uh, big tank. Okay. Alright, now I guess you're gonna come back, huh? Well, I can do artillery check. Let's see. Seven and one. Alright, so the tracer needs to be deployed very soon. Let's check out the north area. Oh, let's first check out the... Yeah, eight turns for brilliant victory. Okay. So you see the Chinese has uh, kind of distributed their units all around the battlefield. Check here. Okay, that is pretty bad. Bad loss for us. DK-9, which is a great, great anti-helicopter, anti-air. Uh, PMU and WS-1. Alright, so wild diesel time? I guess so. That's wild diesel. Uh, maybe it's really better. Yeah. Wow, it's pretty scary. Two DK nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna really do well. All right. Well, they definitely knew that we are coming. <laughs> I don't know what the briefing said about the Chinese not expecting us. They definitely did expect us all the while, all along the way. Uh, seven, okay. Yeah, this guy can actually reach south. Um, it might be better if I do scout. No, no more scouting. No more. Gotta save up. Now I gotta decide what to do with that. Uh, yeah. I can deploy the tanks here and then destroy this. And this is 23, so it's not too bad. Um, although it's heavily experienced. It's only pretty good around, like, in the close quarters. And our tanks, I think, is more than able to defend against it. 1 and 6? Okay. Maybe I should try it. Yeah. One and four, okay. One and four, alright. WS1, yeah. Jiren six, wow, okay. So it's, um... Ah, not be able to finish it off. Uh, Jiren five, okay, I can do... One more artillery check. Seems that's it. Seems that's it. Right. Now, can I deploy more units? Yes, I can. And yeah, let's bring the heavy hardware. Here. And this guy should go back. One in seven. There's more tech. Okay. I can do pretty well, though, against this guy. Now, DK-9 has a pretty good range 3, so uh, my helicopter is probably is not available in this area. Yeah, definitely. I guess I need to swamp them with artillery attacks. It'd be nice if the... Yeah, let's deploy some tanks here as well. Okay, now this guy cannot deploy from the core. Uh, core HQ? I don't know. Mm. That's surprising. Let's see if I can deploy. No, I cannot deploy from Core HQ. Maybe this guy... Um, I don't know what's happening. Um, interesting, okay. Let's see what is happening here. Alright, alright. I think there's only one garrison. Garrison and a unit, maybe it's anti-tank. Ah, oh, that's weird. Uh, I cannot deploy the unit. Hmm. Can I deploy now? Yeah, I can. All right, I gotta move or something <laughs> from where it's starting. So I guess I lost a bit in terms of, you know, range. 
uh, usable range for this text. And uh, well, yes, yeah. Yeah, don't need to go too far, right? One in five, okay, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, this guy has two range, yeah. All right. No, scratch that. Maybe I can destroy it using a helicopter. After all, just have to be careful about it. Is so okay. Well, no matter, can overrun it. Just have to provide a range of drone of defense around the helicopter to be able to block their way. And I can come down and uh, see if there's any guys here. No. All right, let's go down here and destroy them. Or yeah. Now the DK9 can travel pretty far, can travel six, but I don't think you can reach um, this guy. All right. Now tracer, I don't know about this area. Maybe the Russians will have to make a move now. Hopefully, it's just a garrison unit. Yeah, a garrison unit. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just. Try to fight them off. 23, alright. 3 and 3, alright. Looks like they need our help. 3 and 3. It's a bit better. Yeah, they can definitely attack a whole lot. Now, let's deploy some artilleries. One Crusader. Yeah, one Crusader would be pretty good. And, of course, artillery means that we need to deploy some linebackers too, if there are any. Yeah, there's some Tunguskas. I want to save at least a couple of linebackers, because I don't want to be caught in their Wild Weasel trap of expanding every last missile in the first turn and uh, I believe there are some helicopters here too so need to be careful in that regard yeah I don't want to be caught I want to be able to deploy uh, and then try to attack the helicopters as they appear All right yeah this is better seven wow man that is a difference that is a difference that is amazing. You might have to deploy everything in the end. Bear support. We might have to. Yeah. Oh man, this guy should have gone in there. It's okay, it's okay. It's quite okay. You can just come back. Alright, so the Russians did their jobs. And let's try to uh, bring in more artillery and uh, continue to attack the Almaty and try to see what they have here using this tracer. And those that definitely will be deployed and thing in this turn since there are a lot of tanks about. I don't know whether we can defeat every one of them, but I think we can probably damage this guy pretty bad. Uh, tracer, okay. Yeah, I have two units. This is also a river assault. Okay, so Tracer goes down. And let's try to use these guys to see if there's any tanks around. Oh, this is Strela. Okay. Wow, during 6. Let's do that. 8 and 2. Wow, it's really powerful. Then. Alright. I might have to deploy a uh, linebacker after all. And KSTM, yeah. This guy really have to afford to observe some of these units. 
especially I don't know what this guy is, but I find it out. Yeah, leader. Okay. Here's just defender. All right. 19 strength. My gosh, crazy. All right. Yeah. 19 strength. Holy moly. Okay. Deploy the rest of our artillery units. Divide them north and south. So this guy. Tech. 8 and 4. That's more like it. And can one of our tanks reach this guy? Uh, maybe this guy has to move. Yeah, and no, cannot reach it. Can't reach it. Maybe due to the zone of defense of this guy. Seven, I think I can, I can attack it, but no, not in this area because of the forest. All right. Yeah. Three and one. Now this leader is able to, uh, I think maybe come down. Yeah, come down and try to attack this guy. Uh, might need an artillery strike though. No, there is no artillery, sorry. There is no artillery. Uh, this is the artillery that I can use. Yeah. 9 and 3, not bad. And linebacker, no. Howl. Yeah, overrun it. Now, can I attack? Yeah, 23. 1 and 7, 23. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, guess I have to take it. The night unit, I don't know. Maybe I should follow up and try to battle these guys. Okay, so let's see. Uh, low set. I have low set. I can use also stealth tank with the uh, superior 3 range. So, okay, low set is able to attack this, this guy or this guy. Alright, let's attack this guy. And we have a better time, yeah, sure. Wow, didn't lose a unit. Now it's out of the range though, unfortunately. But my stealth will be able to take care of it. And I think the most... Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and I think that the strongest infantry should take the point. And basically provide a bit of a... Strength for us. Strength of position. I don't know whether that makes sense. Okay, so this power... Okay, what can this guy do? Can you attack? No. Maybe this guy... Maybe this guy should go south. Yeah. I don't know about this guy, but... It should move around here. And more air missions, so let's do recon on the south. And see... Oh, just a garrison? Oh my gosh, look at the, the strength of these guys, my goodness. Uh, yeah. There will be no support units though, following the night. Uh, okay, there's two more night units, okay, so maybe I'll be able to do something with this. And it's not entrenched yet. 24, not 1 and 7, definitely. 6 7, okay. Okay, that was pretty bad. Ah. And one more night unit. Should I move it toward this area? Do I have a plan? Let's see. If I can do it. No, I can't. Alright. Uh, 
Can I land anywhere? Can I land anywhere? No, no. Can I land... Can I land anywhere? Okay, maybe due to the fact that... Uh, I guess there's a lot of DK9s around. The dicks. Dicking around. Okay, so... Too bad. Um, yeah, no. Sorry. Yeah, okay, so that didn't work. Maybe bring in a knight. I don't know, just... Well... It's 20, so I don't think I'll be able to finish this guy. Uh, let's bring in the knight and then finish off that. Okay. Where did I... Deploy? I don't know. Did I deploy the knight? Yeah, here. Uh, okay, so has reverse assault, fortunately. Let me destroy this guy. And let's see this guy, alright. Patriot. Linebacker, yeah, just stay there. Patriot, yeah, just stay there. Ah, uh, maybe can come down a bit. Uh, the helicopter, yeah. Helicopter. 25. WS1 is definitely going to be targeting us. Uh, I can probably aim at some of these guys, if possible. Uh, I don't think it's gonna really matter though. Yeah, kind of bounced, just bounced away. Um, well, I guess I can try to fight this guy and then bring him out. What purpose does it serve? I don't know. No idea. Let's see. I can do airstrike, but it's going to be caught here. Definitely. It's range of 10 and stuff like that, so. Uh, yeah. No, let's attack this guy. And maybe run back. And also this guy should come back here. Now this helicopter may be in danger. This guy will be able to travel six hexes. Should no, I don't think it can actually shoot at the helicopter next turn. Uh, should I attack or not? I think I should. Oh, okay, we won out a bit. Uh, I want to really destroy it though. I don't think I can. Let's see, can I destroy it? Ah, uh, maybe not. I have to destroy it though. I have to. Yeah, I have to destroy it because I cannot really let this guy go free. Don't get caught, please. Nice. Alright, let's push our luck and try to destroy this guy as well. Please don't get caught. Nice. Alright, so successful air missions. That is... Yeah, that is... Very good result for us. I'm pretty happy where I ended up. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, I have no other unit to deploy that's going to make a ton of difference. So I can maybe deploy the linebacker. Uh, but... Maybe I should. Maybe here? Yeah.
The engineers are all that is left. Ah, the helicopters, yes. Of course. And why is that? Alright. Going to be a hard fight. Yeah, the artillery. Okay, didn't know that. Something was pretty. Oh my gosh. That sucked. That's Einbecker, I think. No, it's not good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Where did they come from? Oh dear lord. Yeah, all the wild missiles now. And yeah, maybe the airstrike on that for... Uh, for night. I think I lost like... One linebacker and one knight. That was a pretty bad... Well, I mean, that was definitely a big attack for them. Okay. Let's check this guy. Yeah, pretty good one. Influence. Gosh darn it. Seven, not bad. Oh, he was aiming for my scout. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so we need to make a bit of a turn here. One, three. Uh, Lawson is able to attack, I think, from around here. Uh, but there's WS1, so I need to be careful. Yeah, there's WS1. Protected by whatever it is. On the TDK9. And there's a garrison unit moving somewhere. Yeah, moving down maybe to try to um, take over. Yeah, alright. Okay. And four. this yeah it'd be nice to have a bit more i don't know like trigger objectives where i get more missions and advanced equipment and the like and this guy okay good move a bit farther yeah and this will be no problem just push it with tank yeah nice very good all right let's move from the north Let's, yeah. Yeah, let's just wait. Uh, where did the tank come from? Maybe it was around here and also here. I just didn't notice it. Big mistake for me. Big mistake. Yeah. Need to know what these are. And there is a um, recon that I can use. Would well, be nice if I can see what they have down there. Let's see, yes, Tracer Scott is able to probably do it. Yeah. Take it. It's already shot. Okay. Now can I attack some of these guys? Yeah, I can. Maybe I should move up in here. Oh my goodness, okay, it's gonna lose out pretty bad. Uh right. One and three, one and two, this is type seven. Type five. Linebacker, yeah, no. There's no other way. And this is clear, unfortunately, all clear. Yeah, I think Lose should go down and then try to attack this guy. It's better that way. One and three. Yeah. One and eight. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, 
Oh, that's pretty bad. Anywho. Hmm. Good. Uh, good, but can I move? Okay, that was the extent of my movement. Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh! Yeah, kind of blocked. It's fine. But I can overrun it. Okay, that's, that's something. 4 and 7. Sure, let's do that. Shut it off. Alright. And 1. Now I can probably finish it off in the forest. Yeah. And 4 and 7. No reactive defense. And maybe now the artillery is... Or the... Helicopter might be able to do some good work. Let's do the helicopter. That'll work. Yeah. Okay, but there's a helicopter that went east toward this area. Point five. Should I? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Disappeared. You know, this is what I was talking about. Just disappeared. So I know where it is. Better know where it is. Anyway, for the observer, this guy, and see how much of a effect. No, not really much. You can you do more? One more damage? Yeah, four is definitely something that I can use. Oh, more than I can use. Yeah. Wow. Right. Um. Man. Okay. Yeah, the counter attack has been very ferocious, without question. Let's uh, move around here. This night, yeah. Oh boy, yeah, twenty-five. I guess I have to take take it. Um, everything said and done. I don't think I can move these tanks now. Uh, I just rather attack the WS ones and bring it with the linebackers and Patriot. Uh, TSM is available, but I need to take care of these artilleries first. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I gotta attack from the distance. I'm gonna lose some units. Maybe air strike is gonna help. Arm remove. Yeah, one in five. Hopefully, it's gonna strike. First of all, let's see if I can maul this air support a bit. PMUs and the like. Uh, right, I do still have a. I guess I just saved this. Uh, I'm not gonna use artilleries right now. I'm gonna see if I can damage this guy first. Now, I think I didn't. See any of the units here? Yeah. So let's attack the this one and make it go away. All right. So I can destroy it, but cannot overrun it. Maybe I cannot overrun it. Maybe if I can do this. No, I don't think I can overrun it. Maybe if I can overrun it, very really nice. But no, it only hurt it. Except five. So I gotta choose between these two. I can maybe make... Okay, I can go down, but then I'm gonna lose the tank strength against this guy, which is going to be solved by possibly airstrike, if I'm lucky. And I need to bring my... Yeah, this guy definitely should come down here uh, with that question. Maybe that's a bit too close? I don't know. Uh, let's see. It's all complicated. But it shouldn't be. I should take a better... Yeah, let's take a chance. Okay, I lost only one. So I won out there. Alright, now I can use the artilleries to... Uh... Yeah, definitely have to use the artillery up there. Get 
get the strength down from 20 and it says 6 but I was only, I was only able to affect 1 damage. Now that is very unfortunate. Yeah, 7 and 1, not gonna work. Alright, so one more artillery? No, I don't think so. Um, maybe I can... I gotta take care of this guy first. 5 and 6, no way. 23... Ah, let's do it. 1 and 1, alright. 4 and 6 a bit better. <laughs> uh, 1 and no. Now this guy has to come down though. Uh, it's clear. Okay. You gotta come down a bit now. Just wait. But you... Get over with it. Yeah, let's destroy this guys. Done. Done. One more. Airstrike. Please don't get caught. Three and five. Dang it. Six. Mm. Okay. I cannot complain about I cannot complain. Seven or one and seven. Okay, now this guy can attack this guy. Two and one. Only because I cannot really um bet there is a unit here, garrison possibly or light infantry. Linebacker should come down here and then that directs my movement down here. Yeah, 7 and 5. Alright, so maybe I can destroy some of these guys. Possible. Uh, maybe I should just concentrate my attacks here piecemeal and try to destroy it. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of targets. I have like one more target that I can destroy, so let's get it over with. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, Patriot should follow up. I think I'm gonna have a hard time getting out of this hill, but it's uh, better than nothing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Get the intervention down. 7 and 3 now. Alright. 3 and 6. I don't have to rush things. Let's see what happens. Three and three, six and four, two and six. Nope, was well, useless. I should have not done that. Uh, okay. Engineers, well, I mean, they're decent against hard targets, so let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Green unit, so I don't know whether it's going to work. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, two and seven. Hmm. Four and six. That by a uh, little bit of paper cut is orchestrated by the, the erstwhile engineers. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe I can kill it. 26, okay. I definitely need to kill it. Uh, 
actually. No. Let's not push our luck. 28. Okay, still pretty decent. Still pretty decent amount of strength. Now this guy should come down. Let's see, uh, linebackers will get the benefit of this. And while the Tungus can move in to maybe um, expand our air coverage. Okay. Uh, should I push it or should I destroy this? Ah, just destroy this. I think that was the right decision. Okay. Uh, right, right. Linebacker. Up around here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't wanna go to the hill if I can help it. This guy can position itself a bit better. I don't know. This guy should actually go back. Uh yeah, I think that's the right way and TSM. Well the linebacker is here. Under, I don't know where the other linebacker is. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I don't think helicopter will be able to attack it directly. Airstrike is worrying, but stay in the back, in the clear. All right. Yeah, linebacker is here. Okay. Okay, so we got rid of the tanks. I guess that's something, right? Be quiet, I don't know. Oh boy. Alright, they're going back, of course. 